Hello everyone and I hope you are doing fine. Welcome to the first episode of PLSSEM video tutorials which focuses on the conditions that favor the use of PLSSEM. Okay, if you look at table 2 in our article, you can see the conditions that favor the use of PLSSEM. Basically, we have adapted this table from here at all 2019 and these are basically the reasons for applying PLSSEM method. I have copied all of these reasons into one PowerPoint slide. Let me show it to you. All right. On the left hand side, we have the conditions that favor the use of PLSSEM. And on the right hand side, I have provided some explanations for you so that you will become more clear about these reasons. Now, if you are applying PLSSCM because you would like to test a theory from a predictive perspective, you should consider running PLS predict analysis. So in other words, uh, it is just meaningless that you argue that you are testing a theory from a predictive perspective and you fail to run PLS predict analysis. The next reason for applying PLSSCM is model's complexity. And if this is the case, you should consider reporting the number of latent variables, indicators, and relationships among the constructs in your model. And in other words, you should provide uh, a good picture of complexity in your model. The next reason for applying PLSSCM is to increase complexity by exploring established theories, theoretical extensions. And again, if this is the case, you should consider explaining how you are going to build on a prior model by developing both new measures and structural passes. This is something related to incremental studies and I would like to invite you to have a look at the paper authored by Chin 2010 to get more insights about incremental studies. The next reason that may encourage you to apply PLSSEM method is that you have formatively measured constructs in your model and again, if this is the case, you can provide a good explanation about your formative scale in your study. Also, I have provided a few articles here which show how formative constructs can be implemented in both PLSSCM and CBSEM methodologies. Okay, the next reason for applying PLSSCM is that you have financial ratios or other types of uh, data artifacts or maybe secondary data. And if this is the case, again, what you need to do is that you provide a very good explanation about your data. The next reason for applying PLSSCM that you can see here in this table is that uh, a small population limits the sample size. So it means that your sample size is small just because your population is small. So if this is the case, what you need to do is to provide a very clear and detailed explanation about the characteristics of your population in your study. The next condition that may encourage you to apply PLSSCM method may be distributional issues. And if this is the case, uh, you should certainly consider identifying multivariate outliers in your study and also computing and reporting normalized estimate of multivariate cortoses to show that your data is really multivariate, not normal, and that's why you have applied PLSSCM method. And lastly, if your research requires latent variable scores for follow-up analysis, again, you can apply PLSSCM method, and what you need to do is to report and explain the analysis that you would like to run. So it is important to provide justifications why you are doing follow-up analysis. Examples of these type of uh, follow-up analysis may be IPMA or importance performance map analysis or examining nonlinear relationships in your model as a robustness check. Okay, so these were the conditions that favor the use of PLSSCM and some explanations about each of them. In the next video, I will show you how you can identify multivariate outliers in your study and also how you can compute the normalized estimate of multivariate cortoses as a measure of multivariate normality. Also, in the next slide, let me show you. These are the references that uh, you could see in the previous slide in case that you would like to have a look at the articles. So I have provided these references here for you. Thank you very much for watching.